Hey guys, um, we just caught this little guy in here. I couldn't get video of it because he wasn't here to videotape it. But that's Johnny. He's my brother and he also videotapes for me and he catches snakes too. And so we caught this little guy and I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about these southern water snakes or banded water snakes, whatever you want to call them. Um, they're really, they're always mistaken for water moccasins. So you can see a close look at these guys. Okay, so you can also see, get closer, on his eyes, they're round, his pupils are round. Water moccasins will look like cat-eyed, and we'll show you a picture of that too. Um, and this guy's color isn't too great. Like, he's, he's a really pretty one, but it's kind of easy to tell, in my opinion. But, um, you can look at his tail. I don't know, this is kind of a hard one to tell, but it's kind of long, and it extends a bit. A water moccasin is more, like, short and just cuts off. And, I mean, I don't know what else you'd mistaken these guys for, but I think water moccasin is the main thing. <clears throat> um... You can look at underneath his chin, a water moccasins would be like stripes right here. <clears throat> and um, you can tell at his eyes again, he has ridges, or he, does, he like his ridges aren't, um, they, they just look friendly. That's what I like to say, because a water moccasins, like they go down at a slant and they look like mean people with their eyebrows or something. And he doesn't have pits, I don't know how close you'll be to tell, but on his nose, he doesn't have, like, heat pits that a viper would have, water moccasins. So, that's, that's another way if you're that close. And his head is really narrow. Of course, he can make it, you know, as big as he wants. If he feels threatened, he can do that and, like, puff it out a bit, and he can puff his whole body out. But usually a water moccasin is thicker, and he'll have, like, a blockier head like a lot blockier so you can tell that and another way to tell let's go over to the water um you can tell that when he swims he'll swim underneath the water with his head submerged like either all the way under oh that's a spider all the way under or with like his head up above water a little bit see but a water moccasin, he'll swim with his whole body up above water, like that. He's being pretty nice to me. Like, he'll just swim, like, above water. See, he just automatically floats down. So, that's another good way to tell if you're in the water. And, really, you shouldn't kill a water moccasin, even if you do see one. Because sometimes you'll have it wrong, and sometimes it's just best to leave them alone. Because you have a higher chance of being bit by one if you're messing with it. So it's just best to leave them be, and they'll leave you be. But, <laughs> but yeah, so. I sh okay, so that was just a little info on how to tell these two snakes apart. I obviously don't have a water moccasin right now. I would show you guys if I saw one in the woods, but we don't have one. So I'll just put pictures on the video so you can see the differences. So we're just going to let this guy go, because I don't like to keep them for too long. I don't want to cause stress to them. I'm going to bring them out a little ways, just because, I don't know, I feel nicer if I do that. You can tell it's kind of deep. I don't really have any shoes on, but, oh well. Um, so, usually you'll find these at night, or like at dusk, because that's when they hunt. But, you can see that there's probably a lot out here. I'll see them like all the time. So, we're just gonna let this little guy go. Let him go on with his life. Might see him some other time. <laughs>